Hello, my wonderful students. You will be making plastic from milk today. How cool. You must have an adult with you because you will be working with a stove where it's hot. You will warm milk, add vinegar, watch the milk separate into what's called curds and whey, and like Little Miss Muffet called it, or it's also known as casein and liquid To begin, you'll need to collect over. some materials and ingredients. Liquid. You will need some vinegar, at least a one cup measure, some milk, you might want whole milk, I'm trying fat free, wax paper, a tablespoon measure, some spoons, a wire mesh, paper towels, paper towels, a plate, and a pan. Now, on the stove, and you must have an adult with you to do this. This is both a science and an art experiment. So, we're going to take our milk and measure out one cup. One cup of milk. When you're measuring, what you need to do is get down eye level with the cup so that you can see if you have the right amount or not. And I do. Then you turn on your stove about medium heat and let it warm up. Okay, I want you to watch this. You see how it's separating into the pieces and the liquid is becoming more clear. It's not looking like milk. and it separates into the casein, into the plastic, the casein plastic. They seem to get bigger pieces if you add your vinegar when it's hot. I'm not putting glass on the hot stove. Do you see how that liquid does not look like milk anymore? Okay. After the casein strike separates out, you'll strain it from the liquid, then place it on a towel and carefully form it into a shape. You can make the shape that you would like. I'm making a fish. Then we will let it dry for several days. When it's dry, you can paint it, you can make a background for it, and please post it on the webpage so I can see. Be patient, it's a lot of fun. It's very fragile at first, but later it will be strong. It has been several days since we did the experiment and extracted the casein from the milk to make the casein plastic. It has dried now. For the most part, it looks like there's still some more drying that it will do, but I'll hold it nice and close to the camera. You can see and hear that this end is really quite dry. This part here is getting there but it's not quite dry yet. Um, but I think it's dry enough that we can go ahead and we can paint it. And so that's what I'm going to do. And um, you can see this is how much plastic that I got out of a one quart jug of, of fat-free milk. Um, I would be curious to see if you get more out of whole milk or if, if it is about the same amount. Okay, so that's about one quart. You don't get a whole lot, but it is fun. <laughs> and 
you can make some cool stuff. Now remember, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and poke a hole in it while it's still wet. Now it's too late, it'll probably break it. Um, but while it was still wet, you could do that to help form it. And you see how the texture has smoothed down too, which is quite nice. I was concerned that it was gonna be quite rough. So that's nice. The paints that I plan to use to cover it with are, I have some metallic paints, and then I have just some regular Crayola uh, kids paints. construction paper here that I'm going to use and experiment with and see what I can come up with as far as water goes. And I'm going to pick out some blues, maybe a purple too, that I can play with. I'm going to draw some wavy type water and then I want to draw some bubbles. You will like the bubbles. So I'm gonna have my wire, my seam going this way. So it goes, um, you can choose how you want yours. You can have it straight up and down like this or sideways like this. Start with some waves. Oops. All the way across. I might decide I don't like the pink, and that would be fine. It's kind of an unusual color to use for water, but think of it, water at night, water at sunrise, water at sunset. Might have a bit of pink to it. I have a nice tissue here and I'm going to take it and just start smudging the chalk pastels. You see how it adds some texture because I still have the sharper lines from when I drew it on here. But now that I'm smudging it, it's also making it look smoother on top. I'm gonna work on that and
now we're going to draw a few bubbles. We'll draw a circle. Do have fun with your art and science experiments and post a photo of your project on our Art Studio webpage. Can't wait to see it!